Hey everybody, I want to take a little bit to show you the kind of car I'm working on real quick. We have a 68 Camaro, one I just got a couple weeks ago from my brother. Um, it is, as far as I can tell, a real L30 M20. I want to take and do a little video here, just kind of document, kind of show everybody what we're doing, what the game plan is. It is a YY10B car, it's a 712 interior. Um, it is a manual brake car, manual steering car. I do have a big block heater box, and we'll get to that in a few minutes. It is a small block heater box car. It does have small block motor mounts. It is drum brakes. Also down here, it is, as you can tell, the speedo cable is going down there through the bottom. It's not through the center of the firewall, so it is a Saginaw car. Once again, while I'm thinking it's L30 M20. Um, the car also, just for a second here, reason why I think it is that, it does have, you should be able to see it, there is a proportion valve under there. Hold on, let me see if I can't get light. You'll see it, there's a proportion valve. It is a 12 bolt car. It is a 307, 308 rear gear car. No, it is numbers matching to the car, multi-leaf. Um... The body's in pretty decent shape. There's some dents up here. I need to finish doing around the windows on the car. Um, I've welded up most everything in there. I need to do a little bit more filler work just to make sure it looks really nice. Bottom of the dash is perfect. Also, really cool fact, last three VIN numbers for this thing, 666, pretty wild. Just to show you the body a little bit as we walk around it. It needs some wheel lip repair on the back. My brother did sell the doors, the original doors to the car, sadly enough. He was trying to put 67 doors on it. I've got 68 doors ordered from Rick's Camaro. Sorry for the raindrops that's raining outside. The not sound there. But we do have doors coming on the way as soon as they get here. Um, it does have a classic Industries, I want to say, rear spoiler on it. My 69 Camaro deck lid off that car. It sandblasted. Still got some pits in it. Got to come in here and sandblast or finish blocking everything out but the car is not in too terribly bad shape body wise and I do also have rally sport rear lights in the car right now and just to show you got the little 12 bolt back here 12 bolt rear end it's super clean on the bottom side which is good so that's a good sign I've also done the body work as you can see around the back window. I need to finish it out. The bottom of the channel is perfect, but I did have to do the panels up top and around the sides, and I cut it all out and replaced it all back. The floor pans, they're in really good shape too, just to see what they are. You'll see down here, there's a little bit I gotta weld up there, but otherwise tow boards all perfect, floor pans perfect. We do have back here, floor pans are perfect. Just need to sand them down. I'm probably going to do bed liner on them. The car has, as you can see, 76,202 miles on it. And it's it's no bells or whistles on this thing either. I mean, I'm even surprised. It looks like it, it did have the drip rail moldings on it. But it didn't have a whole lot of chrome on this car. It didn't have the wood grain on it. Must have been a... A poor man's hot rod, 275 horse, 327 in it. And you see, they got the clutch pedal and all down there. You got the four speed shift hole set up here. So, but my goal is to do this thing back butternut yellow. I'm going to try to make it a day two car. It does have rallies on it. Thinking about 15 8 rallies in the back, 15 7 is in the front. Do like a 275, 215 65 in the front. So it looks nice. Um, so a lot to do with it. You'll see a lot of stuff here in the future, what's going to happen to this car. And just to show you, once again, big block heater box. This is where things are going to get a little bit more exciting. I do have a 427 to put in it. It is a 73 454 block. It's 289 block. It is a four bolt main. I have a 427 crank. This is a 7115 crank. It is 1010. I got to get it polished up. I do have a TR2X tunnel ram Elderbrock. I'm going to probably run two 600 Hollies on it. I do have a set of 026s heads with 230 intake 
188 exhaust. And as you can tell, that is some valve. Some big valves. So we've got them to run on it. And once again, those are rectangle port. They're kind of like uh, like LS6 type heads. So they're pretty nice. And they had some port job done to them. And just to show you here, you'll see they've been about port match is really what I, all they've been done to them. I do have a solid roller cam to put in it. This thing was a pretty wild motor when I took it apart. Because some of you, you'll recognize this. They had the Mickey Thompson valve covers. But what I really want to show you is back here, you'll see it has General Kinetics cam. It's a solid roller cam that was in it. And it used the uh, older style link bar setup, the really long bars. You'll see them in there, the lifters. The bars are about yay long, so the way they set up is it would go these two to these two would be linked together. So pretty cool, kind of kind of a lot of historical parts for it. And once again, that's kind of the goal for this one is to do a day two car that you, you could drive, you can enjoy, do whatever you like. And just to show you too, I do have my 69 Camaro in here. Eventually I'll get back on it. And my other 68, so yes, there is two 68 Camaros currently here in the shop. And we do also have the M20 transmission that's going in it. So I have the four speed, the shifter, got all that set up. I got the console, or no console in that car. I got the cross member and everything, set it all in there. So if you don't mind, if you're interested and want to see more happen to this, keep tuned. We got a lot of stuff to happen to this. It's going to be pretty wild. It's going to be a little something different. Should be a lot of cars, so stay tuned. Keep watching. Thank you.